Hello and welcome, I'm Arunda, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Fredigar. Rar. So we're gonna try to, to take White Run. We're not too happy with this guy. We siege all of his stuff, he doesn't even have a levy. There's like no troops anywhere. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> he's not the smartest tool in the shed. Alright. Oh no, we're ill! <laughs> Please tell me. Uh, the royal laws are actually Gavelkind. Somehow it switched to Gavelkind. Ah, oh, we're not ill. Good. I, I don't really know why it switched. I guess because maybe um, the succession law that we had in our duchy was that way. And then we... I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird, honestly. But this shouldn't be very difficult. Meanwhile, we're involved in this war over here because somehow we're allied with this guy. King of Daggerfall. How are we allies again? It's your son... Son Brand's father-in-law. Apparently your son is married to my daughter. In a matrilineal marriage. Oh yeah, we're totally gonna inherit Daggerfall. I miss Daggerfall, that was a good old game. You surrender. Uh, it's a fine day with you around. We surrender under these terms. <laughs> uh, we've made Fredegar brave. Good. We accept your surrender, dummy. Okay, so we've taken the... Um, that was the Duchy of, of Greymarch that we took from him. So now we own um, the Hold of Greymarch and the Hold of Coldrock. These two duchies. But because he, so he did that, he's still considered a traitor. So we have free revocation as well. And um, I think we're gonna imprison him first. Do we want to imprison him? Let's send my son to go. We should. Let's just send my son to go and suppress revolts. We're gonna arrest this, arrest this bastard. Imprison. Yeah, that's right. And now we're going to revoke your hold of Whiterun. Oh, the cr crown law allows revocation. Interesting. So we actually can't do it. So, title revocation does not have the law, no crown levy. Oh, interesting. So, because of the whole shenanigans involved with getting ourselves back in control of the throne, we lost the ability to, to revoke titles. So, we need to go up to minimum crown levy. And then, unfortunately, uh, we can't change another law. We can still do the edict. So, how about we just do an edict, like, right away? Um, and to issue an edict, a ruler must not be weak, craven, slothful, or content. And we need to have at least 100 prestige, which we, we don't have any, apparently. So... Well, I'm curious, though, why it only, only lists two possible options. Shouldn't it list all of them? Who's your heir? How big is your family, god-hater? I'll murder you. Well, let's ransom him then. So if we can't use the uh, title revocation with him being a traitor, I think we're going to need to resort to some other option. Keep the mercenaries on higher. <clears throat> I think we press my new duchess, uh, the governess Tai Tin Tintra of Sunderstone. We're going to press her duchy claim, ducal claim, on Sky March. Sky March is going to be very weak. It's a double county. And uh, let's let's go ahead and let our son lead troops. As soon as he is no longer suppressing the revolts. This guy hates us, of course. We could actually successfully plot to kill him, or we could plot to revoke the... Thandom. Plot to revoke the Grand City of Rorikstead. Uh, no, we're happy with him. Greymore. I think we just plot to revoke against this guy again. Since we know people hate him. Should be fairly easy to succeed. And all we need is, like, a single troop <clears throat> in charge somewhere from our own levy. 
Oh, we don't actually have any levy there. Wow. Or do we? No. <coughs> I put myself in charge, didn't I? There I am. Okay. That's, uh... You're not going to let me replace it. Hmm. All right, fine. Well, I guess we won't lead these troops then. We'll just let the, uh... Go ahead and let the... What are they called? Mercenaries do it. And we'll just siege. Rather than try to go fight them. Oh, cool. My liege. My, while surveying Grey March, I have discovered a cache of buried treasure. Very nice. We're actually... We are losing money because of the mercenaries, but we can afford them. So, we do have enough to uh, to revoke the Thandom of Orathheim, which is over here. We're just going to, you know, remove all of this guy's titles. This Fredegar, Fredegar the second, now 58. We're on maximum feudal levies. Don't really need to worry about trading, training, do we? <clears throat> We've got somebody who believes in a different faith than we do. Wasn't my father a heretic? Yeah, he embraced the Eight Divines heresy. I did not. My son did, though. Can we convert to it? Convert to Hagravan cults. Huh. Ooh, look at that. We actually captured the uh, the enemy. Let's ransom him back. We're still going to win the war. Might as well get 70 extra ducats out of it, right? Okay, so we just made our Duchess a little bit stronger. She actually has personal holdings there. Now, if we want to plot to revoke her grand city of Rorikstead, um, she'll, she'll like us enough because we pressed her claims twice that she won't be too upset about us revoking Rorkstead. But she shouldn't have it. It, it belongs to Grey March, not, not her duchy. Hmm. Well, we're definitely going to continue to expand. Nowhere near the ability to make a retinue yet. We can't declare our conquest wars. We can't become a war lord. Maybe our son will be able to. In the meantime, um, we do have the support we need to revoke this next extra, extra title, so we'll just see what he says. He'll probably say no, then war it is. Nope, he actually gave it to us directly. <laughs> well, thank you. That made it easy. What else can we plot to revoke, then? Let's take the Grand City of Rorkstead, because, again, it belongs outside of her duchy. My son will become zealous. That's fine. That gives you more martial. I want that damn Jarl of Whiterun. I want that. Hold. Just give it to me, please. We request that you answer your call to arms against Thane Kieran of Highgate. So my son, my nephew of our dynasty, the King of Solitude, wants help. Pfft, absolutely will help you, son. Nephew. My boy. Prince Erling of Whiterun, my half-brother. Well, you're not exactly a Fredegar, but... I guess we'll let my granddaughter educate you. <laughs> hmm. <coughs> Jeek. <laughs> I still don't know where that name came from. That's ridiculous. Raise those boys up. Train them well. I don't think we really need to help him. He's probably going to be just fine. My son, Prince Fedegar, approached me after a council meeting today and asking me to join him for supper. We both had a grand time, and I think perhaps I should continue to spend time with Fredegar. <laughs> Let's be friends. My son. After all, why not? Okay, yeah, we got a couple prisoners. Sure, we'll get rid of them. Get some money back. 
My son, Fredegar, became an expert battle mage. How did that happen? No! At least he's got 19 martial. That's... It's, it's a little magey for me, but at least he knows how to fight with a staff. So that when the, mag the magic stops, he can still smack him about a bit. We've got an ill, tall, frabby. 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 Okay, well, I guess let's keep the mercenaries busy and go beat up my enemy. My, um, my nephew's enemy. I guess if that's his whole army, then he might be actually having problems. Nice! <laughs> Martial law. Garrison size plus 10. We like it. Um, actually, though, we want you to train troops. My boy. Hmm. So how do we get rid of our... Poor, our trait that's preventing us from doing edicts, I think, is the Craven. Weak, Craven, Slothful, Content. Weak, Craven, Slothful, Content. Homosexual's not on the list. But Craven is. Are there hunts? Can we go on a hunt? How do we get rid of Craven? <coughs> Probably from leading troops, actually. Nice. Success. We'll take that money. Oh, that, he's actually going to use that probably to, to win the war. <laughs> We're still going to ransom him. And back down to 5%. <laughs> we captured my uh, my nephew's enemy and then just ransomed him back right away <laughs> for 50, 70 gold instead of letting him win his war. That is funny. Um, he did manage to siege that, so let's deploy or detach a few troops. Go take it back. That is some funny stuff there. He's maimed and depressed. He's missing a leg, and he's a celibate man. Poor guy. And we captured him in combat. Took his money. You know, keeping the mercenaries, though. Having, having extra money for mercenaries, I think, is really important. The Colovian Estates. Wow. What are you guys doing up there? Defending. Oh, you're an ally in our war. Wow. So, my nephew managed to be allies with quite a few people. Look at that, he's doing well. He's got Winterhold, he's got Whiterun, Colovian Estates. Smart man! That boy. Fredegar, smash! How many troops? Uh, we need more people to support us here. So, more support. We need 80%, I think it is. Yep. Just don't have enough plot power. Alright, so that war's over. The du jour war over something over in Daggerfall doesn't matter. We request that you honor your obligations and answer this call to arms against Chief Melra. Well, since we're here... <laughs> sure, my boy. Why did you call us that into that originally? I see you've got the Colovian Estates woman helping out. They're going straight for Cloud Spring, the war goal, instead of fighting that army. He's losing this war. He probably couldn't handle 1500 on his own. Yeah, they're sieging all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> it's too bad I can't like offer like a trade, like you know. Okay, I give I gave you some titles. Please give me Rorikstead now that I've supported you. We have a bastard. Born for my son. Fre Good job, Fredegar. Fredegar. Doing me proud, making bastards. <laughs> At age 17, Fredegar died of after a period of illness. Is this, which Fredegar is this, first off? This is my expert battle mage son. Well, it's his own fault. He was, you know, he's a battle mage. The son that matters is fine. If he was a, a proper warrior, then he would have been able to shrug off an illness, like, no problem. But no, he's just a faulty little mage. Do we, do we actually take this fight? Or are you gonna run away? Yeah, we just let him run away. We siege him down. What you want? 
Okay, looks like we're involved in yet another war. We got all kinds of alliances. They're dragging us all over the place. Now we're fighting against Nibine. Wow. It's a pretty darn big war. Why are we allies? Didn't you sleep with my father's wife? Didn't you sleep with my mom? Or was that the Clovian Estates guy? So I know some king slept with my mom. Not happy about that. My half-brother, Fredegar. The attractive Breton. We will make him into a fighter. That's quite a stack of men. Uh-oh. Yeah, sorry, Skingrad. I think you're going to lose. There's very little that I can do about it. I'm not going to come down there. You're on your own, man. Oh, looks like there's some people who are bribable. 9% doesn't quite get us up to 80. Oh, look at that. We could probably do it. So we bribe you for 24. We bribe you for 24. And you as well. It'll probably give us enough. There we go. Now that I've given you some territory, please give me Rorkstead. Oh, wow. I give you all this territory and then you say no? How dare you, woman? Don't worry, she'll, she'll still like us after we mop the floor with her and pillage and pilfer her cities. Rorikstead's going to fall very quickly since it's just a city. I mean, it's going to just fold like crazy. Somebody's just fabricated a claim on us. We don't really care about that. seem to constantly have children coming of age. Fredegar, Fredegar, Fredegar. There's so many darn Fredegars, it's hard to keep track of them all. But, you know what? It happens. Apparently this is the weak point. Easiest for him to siege. Um, my son, Prince Fredegar, is attempting to, be, to convert me to my heresy. Well, you know what? My father believed in the Maruka, Marukati. Um, let's embrace it. Sure. My son never lost faith. You want to marry my granddaughter? Winterhold? No. I want her. She's going to stick around. Alright. My wife has carefully approached me about her eight divines of belief, trying to convert me to go back. No, my dear. Um, I expect you to come over to the good side. My dear husband, your penetrating gaze can part even the thickest theological fog. I am utterly convinced by your learned arguments. <laughs> it just drives me. It's absolutely hilarious to me, the, the concept of Fredegar convincing somebody of something. Any Fredegar. Whether it's the first Fredegar or the second Fredegar. Even if he's a mage. Fredegar is not supposed to be a learned man. He's not supposed to be able to convince anyone of anything. Uh, this looks like Fredegar. We can righteously imprison some Thane, a double duchess. This woman is apparently married to the Thane of Greymoor. So, okay, Greymoor is part of Greymarch, which we own the duchy to. And this woman is the countess, essentially, of this area. And she is doing what now? She's the leader of a plot. Her plot is to kill Yorn Godhater, who is heir to the Hold of White. We'll support you. Join plot. Why is there not a join plot button? It just drives me crazy. In this game or any other game, in the base game, it should just, there should be a join plot button. Thank you. So we pressed her claim, made her a duchess, then we took Rorik's head from her. It's the wrong, wrong government type, you know. And we need to build like a castle or something here to make it proper. But um, she's still going to love us, even though we declared war on her, increased crown authority, and uh, she thinks I'm a heretic, so we can fix that. Let's demand your conversion. Well, I'm her heir, so we'll just end up getting that land anyway. Now, the Clovian Estates. How strong are you, woman? 
4,000. She owns land that should belong to us. And if we had the proper traits, we could do the conquest. Oh, hey, we, we can do the conquest. I guess we just needed to have a little bit more prestige, since we're here. Well, let's go take some land. Jarl Tintra. Do we want to imprison her? Not really, I mean... I can understand why she'd say no. But at the same time, that's just because in the game there should be some mechanic that allows me to you know, peacefully ask. Like, hey, I gave you all this land, now please give me the du jour territory that's, you know, part of my realm. Nice job, my boy. You've done us proud. Alright, we need that Warlord Ambition so we can chain siege everything. And it's probably not going to happen with this Fredegar. It'll probably be with the next one. So we're already 62. And my son Fredegar is already 39. But um, I have high hopes for him. He's 39. His son... You better have been naming your boys Fredegar. Oh, you've got Jeek and Nikulas. But you do have a Fredegar. As long as he gets educated by the right person, we'll be okay. Okay, this is part of Bleakwind. It's a pretty big duchy. We don't own enough to be able to... to do anything. Somehow this guy owns that land. So obviously we declare war on him. And uh, do we want to hold on to this duchy? This is another five-county duchy that maybe we could do some good with. The duchy of Bleakwind. Every holding has three slots. White Run, I think, was a little bit better. This one has four slots. Three, 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 three. Yeah, White Run is ever so slightly better, plus it's got the technology already. But this would be a good second duchy if we actually end up with having like a huge domain limit at some point. But they're not next to each other. I think I'd rather have these, t these two right here. Right there. So I think we get rid of Ravenhall. Even though Rorik's dead, really should be uh... we need to hold on to Rorik's head so we can build a castle here yeah so we get rid of Ravenhall let's find men who are not in prison who are any marriage not rulers or should we maybe we should give it to one of our sons nah Nah, let's not do that. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.